farmer in Wilsonville is using animals and art for a special purpose. Uh, this is such a terrific mm -hmm. story. It's a summer program that's designed exclusively for children with autism in an effort to give them the best summer ever. And today we're on the go with Joe V to see how a group of mini donkeys uh, is creating some major smiles. Come on, everybody. Tony Tolan may be biased, but when it comes to animals and kids, come here. She says good things <laughs> come in small packages. The horses are too big. Mules are kind of stubborn. Uh, sheep are boring. <laughs> Ponies are nasty. But miniature donkeys were absolutely super, super great. For more than 20 years, Tony has raised many donkeys on her Wilsonville farm. Now you just eat your grass. Don't worry about me. <laughs> No, not my shoes, the grass. Oh, they all have a shoe fetish. <laughs> and she has opened up for weekly events that are exclusively for children with autism. She says, why aren't you petting me? Yeah, go for it. Where kids can spend time with these lovable, bite-sized burrows. They just have this empathetic way about them that just sucks in the child, and the child just loves them. Tony started the program with artist Teresa Akamura, who loved to visit the farm with her family. I have an autistic son. So, and I just noticed that when he comes here, he really likes the donkeys. They're very gentle and he, he can um, enjoy them and they're therapeutic, I think. So they get together every Thursday all summer long. So they don't get out, but we got to sneak in. Are you okay with that? Come with me. The kids are put in small groups, which is key because children with autism can have problems dealing with large gatherings of people. Do you see it? Stick that on there. They pet the minis, groom them, walk them around the pen. Well, let's see how we go. Say, come on. After that, they join Teresa, who normally teaches art classes for adults. But here, it's all about the youngsters. I give them paint and sponges and just walk them through how to create their own donkey picture, and they love it. You know, some of them are very talented. It's a fun day for the kids, but in a setting that's calm, quaint, and <laughs> mostly quiet. I just, I think they're cool. Young Aiden likes the farm so much that this was his third visit to the farm with mom in tow. He loves animals and they're very calming to him and he really relates to them. And I love seeing the chickens, I love seeing the donkeys, and I love the art projects. Can you see the cross on her back? Show me where that is. It's in the middle, then it goes like that. Perfect. For Tony and Teresa, it's all about giving these families a peaceful escape that is just for them. And Tony hopes that it will give the kids more confidence to see what the world has to offer. That a large animal isn't always something to be afraid of. It can be your friend. It can be somebody you can talk to when you can't talk to anybody else. Somebody likes you very much. And on this sunny day, it's a welcome mixture of self-expression, smiles, and serenity. <laughs> for the most part, anyways, at the place where a little creature can make a big, big impact. I, I just love this place.